April ends for the Rockies in Colorado with a rubber match of a three-game set with the Padres. April began with the series win over Arizona, but Clint Hurdle's group hasn't had a series victory since then. We pick up the scoreless action in the bottom of the second inning with Clint Barmas at the plate and two on, and he flies to right field, and Brian Giles will make the grab, but then Troy Tolowitzki is caught on the 9-6-3 double play. That's not your everyday variety. And that would hurt because your very next batter is Chris Iannetta, and Iannetta sends it all the way out to Lodo. A two-run home run makes it 2-0 Colorado. Kevin Correa making his 13th appearance in Colorado has a 3-1-6 ERA in the Mile High City. Two outs, bottom three, Todd Helton. A solo shot makes it 3-0. Treat yourself to a dinner of Brooks and tell the hostess you know my buddy Bob. Bottom six after an error put Clint Barmas on. It's now 5-0 and it's Helton again. You'll enjoy that Brooks dinner. A two RBI single scores. Ionetta and Smith makes it 7-0. Part of a four-run six. Top seven, first pitch to Adrian Gonzalez. And that's a solo shot. First of two on the day, coming off of Aaron Cook, and it's 7-1. Two out, same inning, Henry Blanco's two-run shot makes it 7-3. And for Aaron Cook, in search of his first win of the season, seven innings, five hits, three runs, his line. We fast forward, top eight, one on, two out. I spoiled it for you, told you it'd be two on the day for Adrian Gonzalez. And if Aaron Cook could keep him in the yard, Matt Belisle couldn't do so either. A two-run shot makes it 7-5. Bring on Houston Street in the ninth, and he will strike out the side, the final batter being Henry Blanco. So Colorado holds on to win 7-5, picking up their first series win of the season since that opening set against Arizona. Aaron Cook also picks up his first win of the year. In the loss, though, Adrian Gonzalez extends his hitting streak to 11 games, hitting 381 with six home runs.